the detainees at Guantanamo Bay have been creating art as a way to cope with the life they have been forced to live. Colin Strawn, ODU's executive director for the arts, explained why he found it important to house the exhibit in Norfolk. So we're in Norfolk, which is a military town, long naval history. We're surrounded by a lot of people who've done part of their military service at Guantanamo Bay. And I wanted to bring those voices together as much as possible. The pieces at the exhibit had to be carefully screened by officials before they were able to be viewed by the public. Many of these people did not think that they would ever be able to see their art ever again. This exhibit is an opportunity for those pieces to have a second life and change people's lives. Almost none of the works were framed, and so I wanted to invest in professionally framing the two-dimensional works to protect them and so that they could travel. Throughout history, art has been used to help escape from realities of life. And as you can see around me, uh, the detainees at Guantanamo Bay are no different from this. All of the artists in this exhibit were never charged with a crime, and they were all held without trial. Many of these men were held here for over a decade, having only their art to comfort them. Strawn wanted to use this to not only showcase their art, but to also educate people about the tragedies of Guantanamo. I've now had the chance to interact with people who have different viewpoints and different opinions. Um, I've seen people change their mind about Guantanamo. At Barron and Ellen Gordon Galleries, this is Maddie McDonald with ODU TV News.
throughout history, art has been used to help escape from realities of life. And as you can see around me, uh, the detainees at Guantanamo Bay are no different from this.